Huh, so you dweeb said you found some treasure? Then you'll keep your cool, keep your trap shut, and let Bandit Keith do all your thinking for ya. Ha <laughs> ha It's in the bag, boys. What's up, guys? Anna Manga, and we have the second tournament of the weekend. Now, I hadn't planned to do two tournaments on a weekend for a long time, but for this weekend, I'll just make a special exception. Next weekend, for sure, is only going to be one tournament. The week after that, one tournament. Um, but for you guys, I'm going to do two, two tournaments here. So let me show you. This is called the Yu-Gi-Oh! CPU Tournament auction heist i'm really really been planning this one for a long time so this one's like part one to a part there's gonna be a part two to the story but this is part one of the story kind of like with um ancient discovery and reshef of destruction so auction heist bandit keith bones sid and zygor <laughs> all have been hired by a certain person to steal to interfere with an auction Pegasus has on Duelist Kingdom Island. He's at, Pegasus has invited all the richest people from Duel Monsters and GX. They've all arrived, and or most of them. Some have refused to come, but still. Um, all, all of them are here, and that's it's those four's job to steal the auction items from the auction. And escape the island somehow. But they have a getaway boat. So. The thing here is though. That um. It's just whoever wins. If one of those four wins. Then it's. It changes the story. If the other, anyone else wins. It, the story pretty much will stay the way I have it. But still it should be interesting to see. If Bandit Keith Bones. Sid or Zygor. Win this tournament. I'm really actually hoping one of them does. Sid and Zygor's decks are not a joke either. They're pretty good. So I'm not going to talk much during these duels, but that's the storyline. Hope you guys enjoy. It's just going to be one duel apiece um, until the semifinals. So let's just start with Para. And so, well, actually, you know what? Let me show you everyone competing. So we have Aster, Rich, obviously. Anna Keith, there to steal. Bones, there to steal. Cecilia, Rich, she's married to Pegasus. XYZ, Chaz, uh, probably the preppiest Chaz. No, preppiest Chaz is Chathonian, but this is still preppy Chaz. VWXYZ. 
Cal Ridley, Rich from Season Zero, Croquet works for Pegasus. That's his intro. Docs works for Pegasus. Jagger, Rich. Jean Claude, Filthy Rich. Kaiba, Extremely Filthy Rich. Mokuba with Kaiba. Panic works for Pegasus. Para works for Pegasus. Pegasus himself. Prince Ogen, Filthy Rich. Princess Rose, I'm guessing Rich, but they never mention it. Uh, obviously, those two are from GX. Roland works for Kaiba. Sid, There to Steal. Slade, Filthy Rich. The D, he's got to be Filthy Rich. He's a he's a former champion. Um, I mean, a former champion in the show. Siegfried, Filthy Rich. Zygor, There to Steal. Let's go. Para versus Sid. Normally I would go Para, but let's go Sid. Any any of the four of Keith's gang would be hilarious if one of them won. Yes, Sid uses a classic fire beatdown deck. Because the only monster he was shown using was Firewing Pegasus. And Ryoku already. Ouch. That was not worth it, Para. <laughs> so Para's intercepted the first of the thugs at the harbor of Gullis Kingdom Island. He's trying to fight him off. The first thug loses, Para takes care of him. Such a shame there, Sid. He was the one with the Aussie accent. Aye, right, smashing night, ain't it? Alright, so uh Zygor Zygor radios into Keith. He's like, uh Sid was taken out and taken into custody. Keith's like, what a loser. <laughs> so next is Chaz versus probably his idol. BWXYZ Chaz versus Kaiba. Two, just two rich guys going at it. Let's go Kaiba. Always. Man, I'm pumped for this tournament. This is going to be great, man. I'm really, really excited. That was really unfortunate for Kaiba. <laughs> that feels well actually helps out Kaiba in this case. Ooh, that's gotta hurt. 
Oh, you can do the a swing catapult, as we saw. I'll give him this. Chaz is still finding a way to stay in it, but not for much longer. Kavi keeps drawing monsters, which he isn't. Okay, Chaz, I think, is running out of monsters. Give me my x Cannon. That's mine, you poser. It's exact damage, too. Huh. Easy victory for Kaiba. He's like, get out of here, poser. Nice work, Kaiba. Kaiba laughs and goes and sits back down. Not needing to do anything. He's not even chasing the, the thugs who interrupt the, who interrupt the auction. <laughs> All right. Next is Cecilia and Zygor. Zygor tries to kidnap Cecilia to, you know, get Pegasus to give up all the items. So he took a different route from Sid, and he's already in the building. Whoops. Zygor's number 80. <sighs> In this case, I'm rooting for Cecilia. No, I can't. I have to go with... I have to stick with my guns. Zygor. Any of Keith's gang winning is a, is a bonus for us. As you can see, he uses a thunder deck. Sweet. He's already got his boss. Yep, that's what that card does. Oh, it's going to be a rough duel for Cecilia. And she can't activate spell cards during main phase one. Which means she can't ritual summon. That's crazy. I think Zyger is going to win this uh, duel for sure. Bye bye. Cecilia got destroyed. No, the face sound doesn't do anything either. Nice work, Cecilia. I mean, no, not nice work, Cecilia. Amazing work from Zygor. He obliterates Cecilia. Well done, well done. I think she just got a bad hand, he got a good hand. Zygor wins, so who will duel him? Count Ridley or Croquet? Now, Count Ridley's the rich guy, one of the game masters from Season Zero. And Croquet is my favorite henchman, Pegasus's right hand man. The battle of the gray hairs. <laughs> battle of the old men. Croquet. I, he's some. He's like next to a chef or something. Yes, he is. Come on, croquet. 
for K uses the zombie deck because there's very few zombie deck users. Him, Bones, Tilamook, and Camulo, the only ones I can think of. Got his boss, Puppet King. Bad news for Croquet. I don't know how he beats that. There's Grace. That's his boss, but I mean, that doesn't do anything. Count Ridley in full control. Poison Mummy does do 500 damage. Oh, we desperately needed that. He was about to be in serious trouble. That's got to hurt. Why is this duel so good? Grace is back. Yep, get rid of traps. Oh man, he's starting to do a number on his deck. Crookhead is like, I must protect Master Pegasus. Oh wait, no, this is just a random this is just a This is just a random rich guy that was invited to the auction. No traps left, huh? Wonder if they are smart enough to not ever choose traps again. Okay, so far it is smart. Okay, Croquet should have full control here. Nope, that's not smart enough. I forgot. Zombie World, you are toast. Ah, oh, there's his other boss, Giant Axe Mummy. Yep, you'll be flipped back down. Goodbye, Count Ridley. Yeah, the eye's not smart, actually, with Vampire Grace. I thought it would be. Oh, this is direct attack. Yeah, that works. Crow K, Crow K.
Hexus is like, okay, I won't send you to the dungeon today. You did quite well, Croquet. Didn't mean to make that rhyme. Croquet versus Zygor should be fun. Duelist Kingdom duel. I mean, it didn't happen, but it could have. If Croquet dueled. <laughs> Pegasus versus Mokuba. I am so sorry, Mokuba. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Mokuba, I'm so sorry. You're toast. Mokuba in my tournaments, you guys gotta know, always has the worst matchups in the first round. He always loses in the first round because he has terrible matchups. He, summons, he has the gall to summon Pegasus's rabbit against him. This does not make Pegasus happy. Okay, he had to use everything, but we'll do a little bit of damage, but still your toast, man. Spear Beer, now he won't even take damage. He has the combo. Which was mere force. I'll give him a bit of this. He's still in it. He's he's trying. Okay, he's got his this is it. I'm in the truth. Oh, yeah, that's enough damage. What was his face tones? He had good cards, it's just his opponent can attack him directly. No surprise there, but who will duel Pegasus? Dox or the D? Hoping Dox wins this duel because the D is dangerous. Very scary duelist. Have not used him in a long time though, since the Society of Light tournament.
Sangha. Yes. No. That was really bad. If you do a little bit better, docs. Okay, which one? Sujin. Kazujin, good enough. Question, why did you not attack Doom Lord? Because look, you're wide open. Still don't understand why he didn't attack Doom Lord. Thank you, finally. Huh, the D can't get plasma? Interesting. It's gotta be Labyrinth Wall he just set. Ah, oh, I thought he had Plasma there. Nope, not gonna work this time. Oh my gosh, the D won. <laughs> the D still found a way to win. Dox is out. The D made it. He he found a way. I guess it's versus the D. That's gonna be fascinating. So that ends the first round actually, because as you can see, everyone else has a buy. So now let's go Para versus Kaiba. Could have happened in Duelist Kingdom. Let's go Kaiba. Blue eyes. Para is major bricked right now. This is the duel. Almost. Or is it? Hold on, let me count. Yeah, that's enough. Yeah, 2600 there. Wow, that was pathetic, Para. Well played, Kaiba. Didn't take any damage from Docs. Hasn't taken any damage from anyone yet, this tournament. Kaiba's still upset that he lost the TOC, the Tournament of Champions. So who duels Kaiba, Zygor or Croquet? Zygor... The way he's dueling to win this tournament. Depends. I'm, I gotta see how he does, does, against, does against Croquet.
I think personally Kaiba versus Croquet would be hilarious. Whoops, didn't mean to do that, sorry. He's got a zombie world, but yeah, how do you ever power 2100 and the Thunder Dragon's on the way? You're toast, man. So, he's toast. I don't know how Croquet ever powers this. If he even makes it through this turn. <laughs> See, he's already won, because all he has to do is activate Regeki Bottle. Okay, amazing play, but he has Regeki Bottle. Dude, he has Regeki Bottle. Does the AI not know how to use it? I was about to say. Whoa, hold on, whoa, whoa, whoa. Depends. Depends on how he plays this. Oh! That was his last chance. Zygor is legit. Zygor could beat anyone, maybe, this tournament. Watch out, Kaiba. Watch out, Kaiba. Kaiba versus Zygor. Uh, Eric Stewart versus himself. <laughs> Wait, I think he, I think he voiced Zygor. Anyway, Pegasus versus the D. Oh, you know what? I messed up. I forgot to do one last first round duel. So I'm gonna have to go backwards. I'm so sorry, guys. So, well, why don't we do Pegasus versus the D first? It's fine. I, I did mess up though. It's all good. Still read the same results no matter what happens. Whoops. Shoot. Let's go Pegasus. This is your auction. Show the dude's boss. Amazing start. This is how he almost won the uh, Duel, Royale, Duel Royale tournament. He always got uh, Toon Kingdom when he needed it. <laughs> no plasma. Hmm. That was not worth it. I would have just kept attacking directly. That was stupid. See what I mean? Now you're wide open, Pegasus. That was so dumb. Why did he do that?
There we go. Now, I mean, you could have could have already won by now, but because the plasma's coming next, and if he gets plasma on the field, you lose. He can just absorb Toon Dark Magician Girl. Oh, he can't. This is this is it, Pegasus. You have to hope he doesn't get a next turn too. You have to hope, Pegasus. This is it, he got it. Plasma! Absorb Tomb Dark Magician Girl. Pegasus, you may lose. I'm just saying. He, he negates all tune effects. That worked! Because he negates his effect! Because he negated his effect, he got to attack immediately. Incredible. D-Mind. Yeah. You still lose. Goodbye. Face down with Scapegoat. Not good enough. That was a really good duel, actually. He almost had him. If if his own monster didn't betray him and negate the tune's effect, he couldn't have attacked. Pegasus advances. Pegasus has been doing well recent. Excuse me, recently. So we're going back to a first round duel because I stupidly forgot it. So Siegfried and Jagger. I'm going Siegfried here. This was to be the last duel of the first round. I haven't used these two in so long, Slade and Jagger. Let's go Siegfried. I think this was the one that was voiced by uh, Jonathan Todd Ross, Merrick's voice actor. And it was just painfully obvious it was him. Well, that was fast. <laughs> Afita Zen. Oh, Afita Zen yourself, Siegfried. Okay, if he has, if he, he gets time, he can definitely hurt Siegfried here. What a comeback. That's a good card. But what's his face doing? Ah, see. He has time. Oh yeah, he has plenty of time. What a comeback. Okay, yeah, but you lose. You have nothing. Okay, he showed me he has nothing. He'll attack your 1500 point monster. Oh no, I forgot Ancient, Ancient Sanctuary. He's fine for this turn. Oh my gosh, what a... This is such a bad situation now. Okay, you have one turn, Zigfried. Feather Duster would change the entire duel. Nope, doesn't seem to have it. And that's enough damage anyway now. 
Sorry, Zekfried. You definitely were almost going to win that duel. But Jagger has Buku's of money like you, and he can afford cards, OP cards like Five Headed Dragon. Haven't used Jagger in centuries, but he advances. And now we go right back to Jagger versus Princess Rose, the second round duel. I'm going Princess Rose just for an upset. She had to be rich. I know she was an obelisk blue and she was she was a representative for Sartorius, but Princess, she has to be rich with that title. And she said I'll get my daddy on you to Jaden, so that means her daddy's rich. Does she have it? Okay, she has time though. Okay, this card in this situation is not good because your your grave is useless. Terrible play. Terrible play. Okay, at least you have a face tail. Maybe it's Froggy Force build, maybe. If it is, it's gigantic play. No, it is not. Okay, she got a death wrong. She can get the other two, right? No, just one. Dark bribe, is that what she was hiding? Well, you pretty much lost. Next turn he gets Dragoon, King Dragoon. There it is, King Dragoon. Not getting Mirror Force really hurts you. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at this. The power. The sheer power. Slain Jagger could go far, if not win this tournament. Crazy they never won a tournament before, so Pegasus is going to struggle there. That's going to be tough. Next is my boy. My number two pick to win, I mean my number one pick to win this. Bandit Keith versus Slade. Oh no. This is going to be all power and someone's going to lose very quickly. 
Keith, 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 Keith. Come on, Keith, you can do it. I believe in you, Keith. Please win this. I buffed his deck to the best possible way I could. I cannot do his deck any better than I have. Slave is number 78. Please, Keith, please win this. I'm begging you. He has done terribly in my tournaments recently. Come on, Keith. I believe in you. Just slip some, slip some seven completeds up your sleeve if you need to. That, okay, that's fine. That works, too. Oh, no. You, you have a limited amount of time. Whoa, 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 whoa. Your opponent is not joking around. Oh, you're gonna take so much damage though, Keith. Okay. This is a, uh, I don't know if you can take a hit like that though, man. Your monsters aren't really strong enough. You really need your traps. He doesn't have any traps, and now five out of dragons here. He can't take a hit like that, can he? Oh, he can, but it's gonna leave him with near nothing. This is it. He figures out a way to be a five out of dragon, or he loses. Keith. Yeah, he's defending. That better be mirror force. It has to be. It has to be. It has to be. Come on. Let's go. Keith slipped a mirror force up his sleeve real quick. No freaking way. Another one? Okay, yeah, but he's wide open. You win. Come on. Let's go, Keith. That's gotta be Cyber Jar face down, the other one. Keith, 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 Keith. Wins with his, with his infamous Black Sphere. That was really close, and I was extremely scared for Keith. Well played, Keith, well played. He's He gets intercepted by Slade, but he knocks out Slade and just stuffs him in the closet, keeps moving on to find the auction items. <laughs> Dual Keith, Jean Claude Magnum, or Roland? You know what? Roland's the new guy. I'll go with him. Jean Claude's funny though. I can't remember where I put him. Somewhere near here, right? Uh, I, oh no, he's number 100. He's exactly 100. So Jean-Claude tries to steal some of the, some of the loot, but Roland tries to stop him from taking it. <laughs>
Just so you guys know, Roland pretty much uses a lot of the cards he used in Reshef of Destruction. Pretty much that deck. That's the best play he's got, he is toast. Uh, his AI's glitched, I forgot. He just lost. His AI's glitched. See what I mean? Free win. Free win for Jean-Claude. I forgot Roland is glitched, and Bandicoot's gonna struggle a little bit against him. Now, another of the thugs, Bones versus Panic. This should be a great duel. A duel that could have happened in Duelist Kingdom. But Bones was hiding in the cave when Panic was out, eliminating Duelist in the forest. So Bones was safe back then, but what about now? Keith's staring down Bones, trying to coach him here. <laughs> He's still trying to coach Bones. No, don't, not that move, Bones. Do this one. So Bones... Whoops. No, this is the right guy to use for Bones. I always forget where I put him. 58, okay. And Panic, the Eliminator. I'm not going to panic. Panic did amazing. Got to the semifinals a couple, a few tournaments ago. Bones hasn't really done much ever in my tournaments. It looks like he's starting off pretty good here. Pretty good. Uh-oh. We got lucky there. With a zombie world out, he can't bring out his monarch, which is good. There's his mini boss, Ill Blood. Good place, Bones. <laughs> Now pulverize him. Yep, he can revive Mizuki. Oh I man, no, he can just outright summon Pumpkin. Oh, you're toast. He lost this turn. Spirit Reaper too late. Pumpkin, the king of ghosts. Well played, Bones. Really well played. Bones wins. So the last duel of the second round. Prince Ojin versus Aster. You know what? I gotta go Aster. The D brought his uh, adopted son with him. Prince Ojin have not used him in centuries since the Society of Light tournament. I buffed his deck the best I could. Don't blame me if it goes wrong. Prince Ojin. Aster did pretty well but lost in semifinals yesterday. I just want to see Satellite Laser Balsam come out. I've never seen it in my tournaments, ever.
Are we gonna see uh, Wave Motion Cannon do something today? Also seen a lot more of Dharma Cannon than I've ever wanted to see here today. Aster lost. Yeah, that's way too much damage. Aster got wrecked, and he didn't even need to summon Balsam. What the heck? Or his face stones. Physical decounter. He didn't have a Destiny Hero. I can't believe that. Wow. Huh. Friends Ogen advances. So I'm only going to do a couple of duels for this round, because we only have four duels. I'll do two. Kaiba and Zygor, I'm worried about. I don't know if Kaiba can beat Zygor. But I said I would go for Keith's gang, and he still has three members left. Only Sid's out. So I have to go Zygor. I'm sorry, Kaiba. I don't doubt Kaiba winning. I'm just saying I gotta go Zygor. Kaiba did, after all, win one of my all-time biggest tournaments. The Reshef of Destruction tournament. In dramatic fashion, too. But this guy's on another level. He's good. Zygor Thunder decks are pretty strong sometimes. And this is one of those cases. Yep, Maiden will get her to get him to glitch. He's gonna go for his twin head. Aha, I tricked ya. Yeah, it doesn't know how to work with Maiden. I'm curious if Kaiba will do a certain play. I'm really hoping he will. That was stupid. That was extremely stupid. Kaiba care to explain that play? I wonder if Kaiba will do a certain play. Or not, you know, he just has so much power, he can just go in and attack. Now, you know you can't attack, for both your blue eyes cannot attack. On the following turn. As long as that's a non-zombie. There's one way around that, though. Okay, huh, he got his twin head. Nice. Good place. I mean, you don't have a trap move. Now, he, I know he can't. Yep, I was waiting for that. The first synchro summon from the DM era. Azure Eyes, Silver Dragon. Guess what he can do? Oh, or not. He just revived the blue eyes that can attack right now. Woo, what a scary field. And all these dragons are immune right now. Kaiba spared no expense, folks. <laughs> Kaiba has spared no expense. Yep, he's gonna get all three blue eyes out. Get the other one. Oh wait, no, I forgot he only had two. Look at this field. It's gorgeous. White lightning. Okay. I mean, he put up a dang good fight, but Kaiba, look at that field. So much power. Kaiba advances to the semis, but who will meet him? Pegasus or Jagger? Please, Pegasus, please win this duel. I want the Kaiba-Pegasus matchup. 
they're tied at one apiece. Although, if you want to count, he beat Pegasus's deck pretty much in season four. So if you want to count as two to one Kaiba, but I don't. I just count a one to one Kaiba um, tied. Wait, how did it go Jagger and then Pegasus or? No, Pegasus Jagger. This is going to be a good duel, isn't it? As long as Pegasus gets his Toon Kingdom again. Slade's out. That's up to Jagger now. Come on, please don't, Jagger. Do not spoil my Kaiba Pegasus matchup semifinal. I desperately want it. I couldn't tell if he lost Toon Kingdom or not. Oh, we got rid of Cyberguard. Nice. Okay, you have to get Toon Kingdom. Yep. Good play. Oh, he lost. Oh, man, he lost some good cards, though. That's annoying. Nope. This is intense. I can tell something crazy is about to happen. I would have saved that actually. What if he brings out something huge? Okay, I don't know what the trap is. And he's already really low on cards. Oh, good hit. Good work. You're really low on cards. You gotta be careful here, Pegasus. Why did he put two alligator attack mode for bait? He drew Mirror Force, didn't he? Oh no, Pegasus, please don't, don't attack. I mean, don't put him on attack mode. Uh, yeah, he's only two of his monsters. Still not the end of the world. He's fine. Yeah, he's gonna lose three cards. What was that Trihorn? Not that it matters. He should have the win here. Should be. Let's see. Nope. He has one under left. Freak. Are you kidding me? Ah. Still should be the win. He has a no freaking way. No way. You're not going to rob me of this. And he got rid of all his Tomb Cannon Soldiers. No! Please don't lose Pegasus. I'm begging you. Does that help you? I don't think that helps him. Pegasus lost. No! Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh. He lost. <sighs> that upsets me so much. That upsets me so much. But wow, what a duel was that. What a duel. Pegasus. You failed me for the last time. <laughs> so we're going to end the video here. Oh, no, Pegasus, didn't, no matter how much I want he didn't win. So... Uh, that ends this part and we're going to have part two next. All right. See you guys.